Yeah, it does. Is it, see the handle of it? Yeah. Three stars yeah. in a row? Yeah. It's not always good when space rocks fall to earth, but fortunately, you know, this was very controlled. In fact, it was an amazing technological achievement. And um, this sample coming back in a little metal capsule of a, sort of a human made flying saucer, if you will, coming back from this yeah, 4.6 billion years old asteroid Ryugu, which is just about 900 meters in diameter, but absolutely pristine rock made from parts of the outer solar nebula from which all the planets around in the solar system were made. So really what we're doing here is, is trying to sample this pristine rock that hasn't been irradiated by the sun, it hasn't um, been chemically changed, and uh, the samples were taken from both the surface of the asteroid and inside as well. So it was a very uh, clever thing that the, the probe managed to do. Well, it is sealed in a box, um, but, you know, just being exposed to the air and uh, the radiation on Earth from the sun um, means that the, the sample may change. So you just have to make sure that it remains uh, really airtight and capture those gases that were trapped inside the rock samples, because they're the really exciting key uh, to what things were like 4.6 years or so ago so you really you're trying to capture all of that so that's one of the reasons why Woomera was such a good site because it's it's large and flat but also because it was uh, relatively close to Japan so the the samples can be flown back before they're shared out uh, between scientists around the world <laughs>